Hello, welcome back to, back to Itai's channel. Today, playing we're going to look at, and a quick brief tutorial on the autopilot as well, is the uh, Lionheart Learjet 45B. And um, we're going to set up a quick flight to London Luton from London Stansted using the GPS, and uh, we're going to land. And we're going to have a look at that, this plane in the meantime. So this is the internal view, this is the cockpit. Uh, there's the right seat. All of the um, dials are fully functional. Is the uh, audio and fuselage heat panels, the radios, radio stack, the electrical um, switches, the autopilot, and some grumpy passengers who look like they've had a row and they're not speaking to each other. Oh, there's the um, passenger seat, so you can look out the window as a passenger as well. Here you go, and they're still not talking to each other. And this is a good view standing behind the front seats. And uh, there we go. Let's change the outside views. And there's the outside view. This is the black version we're flying. There are, there's a white colored version as well that it comes with. And the outside view. The spot view. And the locked spot view. The flyby view. I think we've seen these. Let's go on to the nearest tower. No, it's not. Oh, we are. Here, right front quarter. One of the wing view, the um, left wing, right rear quarter, left quarter, tail, no shot. Hey, who's that guy sitting there? He wasn't there just now. There's two of them in there. And the tail belly, and there we go, flat front quarter. So let's get back in the cockpit, and uh, we're going to set this uh, GPS up and give a quick tutorial on the autopilot. So, oh god, these keys. They do my head in these keys, I never remember what's what. So let's go to the view menu. View instrument panel, GPS. The first thing we need to do is get the GPS and set the route. To do that, uh, you click on this button here, which will allow us to enter a route. It comes up with this blue box. Now we're gonna use this inner ring and the outer ring. And the inner ring will select the um, letters or numbers of the airport, and the outer ring will move the cursor. Uh, and I'll demonstrate. So when you see a plus sign, you can start pushing punching some numbers or letters if you want to go backwards you go to the left and you get the minus sign you go backwards but we need an e so we're looking for the e click 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 uh, e and then when i got the e i need to move along so i'll move the cursor to the next spot and um, i think we need a g now so it's g and another, click the outer circle again to move the cursor along another g and click the outer circle, and I think it's W. And you can get these codes if you just Google them. I know the EGGW, there you go, is uh, Luton. I have to go back, so I'll move on to the left. Look, click on that, and I go back to W, and there's London Luton. So click on Enter, click on Enter, and it says Activate. Click on Enter again, and we should get a purple, or is it a pinkish line, telling us where to go. There you are, so we've set that. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to the electrical panel. So we click on Views, an Instrument Panel, Electrical System. And the autopilot won't engage if you don't have these inverters set to the up position. So we do that by clicking on them, left click on both these switches, moves it to the up position, because otherwise it won't work, because it needs some extra power. The flaps, we're gonna put, um, we're gonna put the flaps to eight. Oh, it's gone all the way down, let's go again, there we go. That's eight degrees. Um, this is important. Uh, if you're using GPS, we need to make sure that's on GPS. If it's on nav, it, our VOR is nav, we want GPS, so click on that. And now finally, we go to the, um, sorry, uh, the radios and engines, because we're gonna set our altitude. So let's go to the radios and engines, let's close this window in front, and we'll set that altitude here. So just click on it, you see the plus sign, we're gonna go to about 3,000 feet, that's fine. And close that window. Uh, and now we're going to, I want to show you one thing that is gets confusing. Go back to the electrical system and the auto or pilot. Here you go. So, if you switch this on and they don't get that green light, then these are not on. So you need to make sure they're on. Okay. When you want to navigate, uh, you set a course in the GPS like we just did in the uh, GPS uh, here. 
and so we set a course we've got this pink line and you click and engage and nothing happens then you need to click on the nav button otherwise it won't follow the course and this nav button is confusing because down here you have nav and you have GPS all this button does is allows you the, the autopilot to fly the route determined by this switch it's irrelevant that they're both called nav that's what's confusing so you have to make sure that if you're on GPS you want to fly a GPS route, i.e. what you've set in the GPS that is on GPS and then as well as engaging the autopilot you need to engage the nav and it goes grey, it won't come on at the moment and then of course the altitude we just set in the radio panel which is in uh, instrument panel radio and engines is um, here we need to click on altitude to allow the altitude to be held Okay, with that, um, we'll um, make sure it's disengaged for takeoff. We're going to close the window. We're going to take off from Stansted and we're going to go to Luton. So here we go. And release the handbrake. Oops, sorry, I mean parking brake. And apply some power. And off we go. Nice sounds. And it stands at the airport, right air terminal, is it? Oh, building. And here we go, let's rotate. It takes off nicely. Look at that. Gears up. Bye bye, London Stansted. So we'll engage the autopilot, so we'll just flick through the switches until we get to the autopilot. And we're going to engage, don't forget, engage, navigation and altitude. And uh, they're all on now and you should see the plane turning. Let's take out this window actually. There you go, you can see it turning. That's going towards London Luton now. They're still not talking to each other, you know. And there we go, the plane's turning towards the destination. To make sure that it's happening, we will click on instrument panel and GPS and you should see us turning towards London Luton and there's a pink line you see coming up there that's our plane figure in that way oh note this as well this plane is very fussy with overspeed if overspeed if you've got your throttle on full it will crash just be aware of that so we're turning in and uh, we'll have a quick look at these um, views from our side, there's our spot view locked spot flyby view, that's a good view overhead left side view oh, flaps, we need to put them up don't we there you go, we're going to put our flaps up as well uh, the scenery is the mesh that I'm using is FS Genesis. The scenery you see below is from Orbex, England and Wales. The airports are UK 2000, so I'll put them in my description. And um, so you can look those up. And the, the textures as well for the clouds is Rex Overdrive Essentials. Uh, that's Essentials Overdrive, plus Overdrive, sorry. So at this point, we're going to... Um, pause the video until we get to Luton and then we're going to do a manual land at Luton Airport so we'll see you on approach and we're back so I've just engaged the autopilot because I'm going to do this manual landing here and um, we're heading there is Luton in front of us so you need to slow down a bit landing gear make sure that's on so let's go to the outside spot yep that's on back to the virtual cockpit so we need to line up with a um, loop now flaps down we've got a good steady descent uh, where are we we're at 2300 feet our speed is good need to turn onto the runway it's not a bad plane I mean we're gonna probably get a big warning message in a second saying that we're gonna land with some fuel tanks or whatever and um, 
that's going to be really distracting so I have to try and work out the switch at half because that does get annoying so we're turning in now to the runway get a bit more speed line myself up that's better there is a uh, obviously uh, there you go that is so annoying why that comes up I do not know just as you're about to land you get a bloody warning on the screen excuse the French and um, right so let's see and then he keeps saying don't sink, don't sink, even though you're trying to land. Don't so, don't let's get up a bit, a bit more power. And looking good on the approach. Um, like I said, um, it's fun doing a manual landing. I mean, I could do an ILS landing, but I do prefer these manual landings. More of a challenge. Don't sink. Perhaps there's grumpy uh, passengers behind will um, cheer up Don't by the time we land. Don't sink. Don't sink. The way I keep saying don't sink, I'm trying to land. <laughs> anyway, oh look, like there's a plane on the runway taking off as well. That should be okay, should be out the way by the time we get down there. Oh my good god, did you see that? He just went over us. There you go. It's a bit to the left, but it doesn't matter. Let's straighten up. gracious I should have asked uh, air traffic control I think for the heading uh, sorry to ask them to land where am I going well we've landed nice and safely let's see if we can get off this runway now so I think we can get escape from here yes and there we are we landed um, I think it might have caused a bit of mayhem here Oh, look, where's there? Who's he? Let's get into Luton. He's probably thinking, that guy's an Italian driver. And yes, he's right. Hello, Luton Airport. We're coming through. So he's a... Uh, I know some of you diehard um, FSX fans are wondering, what is he doing? Uh, it's just a bit of fun. I wonder if I get through there. There's a lot of traffic here today. Sometimes there's nobody around. Uh oh. There you go. Let's get into the terminal. Alex, oh, okay. So um, it doesn't handle well. There's a few niggles, I think. Uh, the overspeed issue is really annoying. And that message even more so annoying that when you're about to land, like I said, you get this stupid message there by your fuel tanks. And of course, um, you don't want that in the middle of landing. And that's what happens. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going here, but um, let's follow this yellow line. There's some planes over there. So we'll land it. Uh, so we'll park up over here somewhere. Um, it does, it's, it's well worth it. I mean, if I can work out to switch that, that silly message off, uh, I'd be happier. And if anyone does know how to do that, let me know. Um, put it in the comments. And uh, let's find a parking spot. Uh, look, this looks good over here somewhere. Uh, 
Ah, that's cool. Let's go and cheese off those big airliners over there. Um, Ryanair, Thompson. Wish we could. Ah, uh, yeah, put near the terminal building somewhere. Uh, oh, this looks this like a good place to park. Ah, oh, that'll do. So, that looks good. Let's put the brake on. And um, is there a way we can switch this engine off? Uh, 